All right, so a bit of the heart, um, and specifically some of the blood vessels. Now, I've drawn a, a very exaggerated heart here, and you'll see why in a second. Um, we're basically concerned here with the blood vessels. You might want to look back at um, what you did in B2 on some of the types of blood vessels, the arteries, veins, and capillaries. Um, by convention, we would usually colour the capillary, uh, sorry, <laughs> usually colour the veins in blue. Now, they're not actually blue, and the blood isn't blue. It's a lot more like if that red colour was the colour of blood in arteries, that purpley colour back would be more like the, the colour of blood in veins. So it's not exactly red and blue, but just to make things easier, that's what we usually do. Here we've got the heart, and if I just label the various bits so you can see which parts they are, um, remember the heart itself kind of consists of four chambers, atria at the top, and the ventricles underneath. Oops, I always keep mislabeling this. Um, so right atrium, completely made a hash of that, right atrium, left atrium at the top, right ventricle, left ventricle underneath. And what I've done is here, I've exaggerated it slightly. So this is the left ventricle, uh, this would be the right ventricle, and this small bit up here, I've shown it probably smaller than it should be, sorry, smaller than it should be, um, left atria, right atria, okay? The left hand side of the heart, this would be a nice thick wall around here. Um, this has got more to push around. We'll see where that goes in a second. There are four blood vessels. So if we start with, um, we're going to start with the left ventricle. Let's ignore that side of the heart for a second. Left side of the heart at the moment is carrying nice oxygenated blood, nice and red. It gets forced out down this um, vessel here. It's an artery because it's carrying blood away from the heart. Uh, its proper name is the aorta. It's probably about the thickness of your um, index finger, if you don't know how big it is, and it runs down the centre of your body. Um, blood's under pressure as it's squeezed out. Remember arteries, nice thick elastic walls, as the blood goes through, they kind of open, stretch and squeeze again, they recoil, and that helps to push the blood around. So that would go around the body, it would go to all the various organs and tissues, we'll come back to those in a second. It would come back down this blood vessel, and I'm using the blue colour just to show this here, um, this would be deoxygenated blood, and this is called the vena cava. You'll actually see on uh, a lot of diagrams when this is shown, it, it, the vena cava kind of runs, um, you get two branches of it like that, and that, that sometimes confuses people, there's blood coming from both directions. But that's the main vein, it's a vein because it's carrying blood back towards the heart. So we'd have deoxygenated blood coming into this side, Thinner walls, um, if it was thicker, th this is going to push blood around to the lungs, by the way. Um, if it was very thick, uh, it would burst your lungs apart, which wouldn't be good. So when the right ventricle is contracting, the blood is pushed out of here. Now, because it's carrying blood away from the heart, it is actually an artery. I'm going to label it in purple. It's called the pulmonary artery. So it's an artery, but it's carrying deoxygenated blood. This would go off around the lungs, it would get, uh, drop off its carbon dioxide, pick up its oxygen, and then finally it would come back down, nice and oxygenated, into here, back into the left atrium. This is actually um, oxygenated blood now, but because the blood vessel is coming towards the heart, or into the heart, it is a vein. So it's the pulmonary vein. Arteries carry blood away, veins carry blood in okay so that's our cycle left ventricle squeezes blood around the body comes back down the vena cava into the right ventricle and off it goes these two sides of the heart are, are pumping in unison like this um, these bits here although it looks like it's blocked off these would be valves so it was the right uh, left atrium squeezes pushes blood in here when the left ventricle squeezes that valve there would shut to prevent blood going back up that direction, and the same here. There's, there's, there's a valve here, and there's also um, valves in here, and that's to prevent the blood popping back into the heart as it squeezes. Uh, just a few names of specific blood vessels it might be worth knowing. Um, there is a renal artery and vein, and renal is all to do with kidneys. So you can talk about renal artery and vein going to the kidneys. Um, there is a hepatic artery and vein, and that's to do with the liver. There is bizarrely enough another hepatic one called hepatic 
portal vein, which you might see on diagrams, uh, which actually runs from your digestive system up to um, the liver. And the reason it does that is any food that you've had, if there's anything toxic substances in there, it goes via your liver and a lot of those substances will be broken down chemically before they get into your main bloodstream. So it's a way to um, remove toxic substances that may be in your food before it gets into um, going around your body. So you might see that one. And pulmonary, we've already mentioned pulmonary means lungs. One of the uh, other ones you'll come across before of course is cardiac. Cardiac means heart so we come across um, this word cardiac. People maybe talk about cardiac arrest. Um, cardiograms and so on. Card means heart, pulmonary, lung, renal, kidney and hepatic means liver.